Good day! In this video, you're going to learn about the graphical user interface or the GUI, the out components, the containers, and event handling techniques. We will also build applications that uses layout managers, the border layout, flow layout, grid layout, and the custom graphic classes like font and color. Let's begin by defining GUI. GUI or the graphical user interface. This is a category of the user interface that enables the end user to interact with the screen using visual components and not text commands. In Java, there are APIs or application programming interface used for creating GUIs and these are the abstract windowing toolkit, the swing, and JavaFX. There are two types of GUI elements and these are components and containers. Components are simple GUI entities. Examples are text area, label, and checkbox. Containers. Containers are used to keep components in a particular layout and hold subcontainers. Examples are frame and panel. The two types of GUI elements are containers and components. In this illustration, containers are frames and panels. Components are composed of labels, text fields, and button. Java Abstract Windowing Toolkit This Java class toolkit helps the programmer build GUI components or graphical components and graphics. It includes 12 packages with 370 classes. The packages widely used are java.out and java.out.event. To better understand Abstract Windowing Toolkit, let's see the Java Out hierarchy. In this illustration, component is a subclass of object class, while the applet class is a subclass of panel, and panel is a subclass of container. On the other hand, dialog and frame class are descendant of window, and window is a descendant of container class. The button, label, checkbox, choice, list, canvas, text, scroll bars, and even container are direct descendant of class component. Graphic classes in Abstract Windowing Toolkit. We can classify the classes in Abstract Windowing Toolkit based on component classes, container classes, layout manager, and custom graphic classes. The GUI component classes are button, label, checkbox, choice, text field, scroll bar, list, etc. The GUI container classes are window, frame, dialog, panel, etc. The layout managers include grid layout, flow layout, border layout, etc. The last one is custom graphic classes which includes color, font, graphic, etc. Java.out.event are packages that contains event handling classes. We can group these classes according to event classes, event listener adapter classes, event listener interface. The event classes includes window event, mouse event, key event, and action event. For event listener adapter classes, we have key adapter, mouse adapter, and window adapter. For event listener interface, we have mouse listener, mouse motion listener, key listener, window listener, and action listener. Here's the sample code for creating GUI using java.out and java.out.event. We open our text editor window and we type the following code. We import java.out and java.out.event so that we can make use of the classes that belongs to these packages. The name of the class is AWT Accumulator. We extend it to frame and implements the interface action listener. Then we declare our variables and objects. Then we set the content of our constructor. We set the layout and use the flow layout manager. We also set the title, we set size, and the visibility of our window. We create two label objects and two text field objects using the corresponding constructors. We add action listener so that the, the application can react on user action. We also set the object TF output to be non-editable. Since we're using Flow Layout Manager, we're going to add the four objects in sequence. Label input, text field input, label output, text field output. Then we have our main method containing the creation of out accumulator. Since we use 
the interface action listener, the method action perform should be used to respond on the user event to perform actions on the event generated by the user. After completing our code, we're going to save we're going to save our file on the computer. I created a folder on the desktop. I named it Lesson 5. And inside this directory, I will save our Java file. The file name should be awtaccumulator.java. Next is we open our command window so that we can compile our program. We locate the directory of our file and then we compile it by typing java c space awtaccumulator.java. Then we run it, we type AWT accumulator. The user will enter integer on the first text field. Then the accumulated value will be displayed on the, at the second text field, displaying the total. The abstract window toolkit event handling. In an event-driven program, an event triggers a response from a specific user input, which then executes a piece of event handling code. The callback methods. The process action performed is also known as a callback method. The graphic subsystem is called back as a reaction to specific user actions to the method action performed. The source, event, and listener objects. The package java.out.event contains the out's event handling classes. Handling of events includes three types of objects, the source, listeners, and event objects. The user interacts with the source object. When the source object is activated, it generates event object that records the action triggering the source and informs all listeners and invokes proper event handler for that listener. The following illustration shows the sequence of events for source, events, and listener objects. The first is the source register listener which implements appropriate interface. Second is trigger the source. The user triggers the source. And third, construct an event. And then fourth is invoke the listeners. And in return, it performs the action. The Java Out Layout Managers. The following are the Out Layout Managers. We have Border Layout, Flow Layout, Grid Layout, Card Layout, and Grid Bug Layout. Border Layout. The border layout provides five constants for each region, north, south, east, west, and center. The constructor of the border layout creates border layout but with no gaps between the components. Sample output is shown in the screen. We open a text editor window and we type the following code. In this class, we create five buttons and we use border layout. Then we save our file on the folder lesson file. We save this as border.java. Then we open our command window, we locate our Java program, and then we, we compile and run to see the output of our code. The flow layout. The flow layout is used to arrange components in a line, one after another in a flow. It is the default layout of applet or panel. The flow layout constants. The flow layout has constant left, right, center, leading, and trailing. In order to create flow layout, you need to use one of these constructors. The following output uses flow layout as layout manager. The following is a sample code using flow layout. We open our text editor window and we type the following code. The name of our class is my flow layout. In this class, we create five buttons and we use flow layout. After completing the code, we save this file on our computer and we save it on the lesson 5. The file name is myflowlayout.java. Next, we open our command prompt window so we can compile and run our Java program. We locate the program, we locate the Java program, and then we compile it, and then we run. This is the output of our class. The buttons are arranged from left to right in sequence. Grid layout. The grid layout is used to arrange components in rectangular grid. One component is displayed in each rectangle. The constructor of the grid layout are grid layout, grid layout with two int parameters, grid layout with four int parameters. Here's the example of a grid layout. The following will be an example of a grid layout application. We open our text editor window and we type the following code. The class name of this application will be my grid layout. In this class, we are going to create nine buttons. We use grid layout with three rows and three columns. After completing this code, we are going to save the file on our computer. We will save it on a lesson 5 folder. 
with a file name migrate layout.java and we're going to open our command window to run and compile the application the output will be like this the buttons are arranged in three rows and three columns custom graphic classes in abstract window toolkit classes are color font and graphics the color class the color class creates color by using the given red green blue and alpha values the value for individual components ranges from 0 to 225 the value of the alpha determines the opacity of the color where 0 stands fully transparent and 1 to 225 stands for fully opaque here are some of the constructor and the method of class color the set background method can be used to set the object's background and the set foreground can be used to change the foreground of the object. The following will be an example of a program using class color. We open our text editor window and we type the following code. The font class. The font class provides a method for specifying and using fonts. The font class constructor constructs font objects using the font's name, font style, and point size. The style can be bold, plain, italic. These are some of the methods and constructor of class font. The following will be an example or sample code using the class font. We open our text editor window and we type the following code. The class name of this class would be frame font. Inside this class, we instantiate objects like font, panel, label, and frame. The constructor should contain the following code. Inside this constructor, we created frame, we created two fonts, a panel, and two labels. We also set the frame's property like title, the size, and the visibility. We add panel into this frame. Then we set the panel's layout to flow layout. We add two labels inside the panel. And we set the labels font. The main method contains the creation of frame using the frame font constructor. Upon completing our code, we're going to save the file to lesson 5 folder with the file name framefont.jap. Then we will open our command window to locate our file and compile then run the Java application. It will be the output of our code. Let's have the summary or recap of our lesson. We start with GUI, graphical user interface. It enables the end user to interact with the screen using visual components. The APIs for creating GUIs are out, swing, and Java effects. The types of GUI elements are containers and components. AWT or Abstract Window Toolkit contains 12 packages with 370 classes that can be used to create and manipulate user interface. Button, Label, Checkbox, Choice, Text Field, Scroll Bar, List are GUI component classes. GUI container classes can be Window, Frame, Dialog, or Panel. Layout Manager classes can be Grid Layout, Flow layout, border layout, grid bag layout, and card layout. 
The package that contains classes for event handling is java.out.event. The window event, mouse event, key event, and action event are event classes. Key adapter, mouse adapter, and window adapter are event listener adapter classes. Mouse listener, mouse motion listener, key listener, window listener, and action listener are event listener classes. Action perform is also known as a callback method. Color, font, and graphics are custom graphic classes. Color class creates color by using the given RGBA values. RGBA stands for red, green, blue, and alpha. Color values 0 or 0, 0.0 stands for fully transparent and 255 or 1 stands for opaque. The set background and set foreground are some of the methods in class color. The class font provides method of specifying and using fonts. Thank you.